Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a Confessions of a Paper Addict Cut Files design team layout. I don't know if you guys have checked out the cut files that were released this month, but they're pretty awesome. Sorry, I made a mess and I didn't realize how not clean my desk wasn't. I've got this adorable photo for my son from 2014. It's very old. Uh, we went to a uh, diabetes walk and he <laughs> we got like bags of goodies for the kids and he put on these adorable sunglasses. And when I saw the um, delicate butterflies to cut file, I thought, I'm gonna make a layout about that and I already know what the title is gonna be. It's gonna be so fly And so I have an idea in my head um, But what I did is I cut them out on vellum, but first I used my sketch pen in green and Sketched out what the cut file was and then had it cut out. So I really enjoy those. They make me super happy So that is what I did with the cut file um, And I'm playing along with the scrap 5 challenge today as well. So I've got, um, we need to use a punched border, cardstock base, inked edges, something new, and sequins. So I've got something new. We're going to play with Confession or Coco Vanilla Studio No Limits. So I'm going to map my photo. I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to ink edges of everything. I'm going to get a white cardstock base. We're going to do some mixed media. It's going to be fun. We'll add sequins. We'll ink edges. I'm going to use a punched border. All the things so it's gonna be so much fun so let me go get my papers out and get things picked out and photos matted and things and we'll get started okay so I have successfully I have only used my six by six pad I've only made two layouts but I've only used my six by six pad until today <laughs> um, I had to cut into a 12 by 12 so what I've done is I've matted my photo twice on some six by eight paper from the new no limits collection and then I took um, this beautiful paper because I decided I want a six and a half inch circle so I couldn't use the six by eight paper it's just slightly too small and I cut that and I distressed it and then inked it up um, so there's my new and my cardstock base which has been gessoed um, yeah, I just have to do the punched border and the sequins yet, and that's it, because then otherwise we have everything. Um, so that is, this is what we're making. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around this, and we're going to use all these different blue, green, turquoises of um, shimmers, and I'm going to do where you put a blob and you spray it with a straw so I'll do a couple on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera just so to keep this moving along but that is the plan and then I just have to figure out what I'm going to do I think I'm going to do since we're kind of off kiltered I'm going to have it a little off to the side here uh, I think I'll punch a border and put um, this paper underneath as well so I'll be right back after I draw my circle and get my um, shimmers all mixed up really good and I'll start doing the spraying technique. So far this is what I've got. I'm loving it. I've got two more shimmers. So what I use so far is um, Forget Me Not. That's that one. That's a Vibes. This one's Velveteen Green, one of my favorites. This one's Well Bloomy Darn. Uh, that's a Colorings. Uh, Spritz Four Leaf Clover. And this is Colorings Keep Palm, or this green one. And this is Rockefeller Blues. I'm gonna do um, this blue again over here was my thought. I don't want too much. It's very hard to not just dump. So it's been, I'm just carefully pouring. That was actually probably the best pour I've done the whole time. Um, and then the last one I will have, and Rockefeller Blues is a spritz, and the last one I'll do is a Vibes, and it's ocean water. So then, so I was just dumping a little puddle, and then I was slowly tilting, which having these boards is very helpful for things like this. I was just slowly tilting, just to spread it out a little, and then you take a straw and you blow. And if I want a little more, I just make the liquid. They follow their track, uh, come back, and I kind of want to go that way, just a little. There. And then we'll 
do the last one. And because you're spreading it out, um, I and I sopped up any of the pools because of that, it doesn't take super long to dry. Actually, these are almost dry already, and I did them. This is the one I did first, and these I just did a little bit ago, so Ooh, that one's not dry. Oh, my finger's green. All right, let's see if I can do a good controlled pour on this one, too. Yeah. And I'm just keeping it close to or trying to keep it on the circle. And I drew that kind of under my photo, so I don't have to worry about... There we go. And that's okay if it goes into it a little bit. There you have it. That is it, which is super fun. Super fun to do. Um, I think I'm actually gonna add some of this as well. This is Lindy's Moon Shadow Mist. And it's like lots of greens and browns, but I like the green shimmer that it gives. And we're gonna splatter a little bit of this in the area. Let me splatter with my the wand. Kind of. Let's see more. Fine splatters. to get even more shimmer. I could have just, I could have just splattered with the, all the shimmers too, but I wanted just to add another layer of shimmer. And that does like this, yeah, golds and greens and when it dries, so that's really pretty. Now we'll just wait for those splatters to dry. I'll just show you kind of how cute that's looking. This butterfly is going to get cut off just a tiny bit, but not too much. I've got my border punched. That'll go over here after this is all dry and I take all the tape off. i um, liking that. And then I cut out some words from the cut apart. I cut out be yourself, too legit to quit, out of this world, one of a kind. We'll kind of put those in a few areas. We'll see what's also is on the sticker sheets as well, but I don't plan on adding too much. I'm not going to pop it up on foam either because I thought about it, but then I would have to somehow figure out the butterfly wings are very large and coming off the circle, so they would be drooping off, so I don't like that, um, so they wouldn't be popped up anyway. So yeah, we're going to leave them alone. I will tack them down probably a tiny bit with some glossy accents or something out here just so they don't get caught when they go in and out of a particular or when they go into a page protector. Um, we'll ink around the whole thing with the Twisted Citron. That's what I inked around my circle and my photo. And yeah, so we'll let those splatters dry and I'll be back and we'll reassemble. All right, so I've got the butterfly kind of tacked down. I put three of the word stickers right here. Now I'm gonna glue down my letters because I've got these green alphas. I think they're from, are they from a Chanel? Or they're from One Canoe 2, I can't remember. But they don't stick very well anymore. So we're gonna glue these down. I really love this, this, this turned out really good. Okay. 
tack it down right there too. All right, there you go, guys. So I just put a few word phrases down here under my title where it says so fly. There's going to be other pages with this um, that kind of document where we were and what we were doing. So I'm not too worried about journaling or dating or anything, but I really like this. The butterflies are just there and subtle. You can see them. I feel like a lot better in person. Hopefully you guys can see them well on camera. Close-ups will be following. I just took the ink pad, two of the Twisted Citron, and just kind of grazed it around the whole edge so that we got that. I've got my punched border. We're set to go. So thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you check out the Facebook group for an amazing challenge this month, the sketch challenge for Confessions of a Paper Addict. It's awesome. I plan on doing it with the freebie cup file. So make sure you go grab the freebie cup file. And also go check out the shop and grab some of the new releases. They're they're all really good. I love, I, I never don't love all of them, but like I can see myself using all of the ones this month multiple times. They're so good. I love them. All right. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.